Laos and China have agreed to set up a joint committee to further broaden trade and investment cooperation along the Laos-China Economic Corridor. The move is part of the two Asian nations' desire to fulfill their goal to boost economic activity in areas through which the 426-kilometer Laos-China Railway will pass after becoming operational on December 3rd. A memorandum of understanding on economic collaboration was signed on Friday during a virtual meeting between Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Planning and Investment Dr. Son Tsai Sipendon and Head of China's National Development and Reform Commission, Her Li Feng. During the talks, Dr. Son Tsai asked the Chinese side to provide more investment in large-scale infrastructure projects, notably the construction of expressways under the build-operate transfer model, public-private partnerships, and other forms of investment. Over the past two years, the COVID-19 pandemic has severely impacted the Lao economy, resulting in shrinking trade investment and tourism. However, economic cooperation between Laos and China, particularly the construction of mega projects such as the 5.9 billion US dollar Laos China Railway, continues to make progress. The two leaders agreed to define specific ways to translate the Laos China Economic Corridor Development Cooperation framework into practice. China agreed to help Laos formulate action plans to boost trade, investment, and tourism in areas close to the railway. During the meeting, leaders reviewed cooperation agreements signed by the two countries in past years, notably an agreement to jointly further China's Belt and Road Initiative and an agreement to develop the Laos-China Economic Corridor from 2019 to 2030. They also agreed to push for cooperation in areas relating to the sharing of technical expertise. Preparations for the official inauguration of the railway was going full steam ahead, with the opening ceremony set to coincide with the National Day of the Lao PDR on December 2nd. The event will begin with a religious ceremony on December 2nd before the official opening ceremony on December 3rd. The meeting was attended by deputy ministers and other senior officials from both countries. The two sides also signed an agreement to reaffirm and jointly support 32 cooperation projects aimed at boosting production capacity and investment.